so till now you have learned about grade of concrete type of cement grade of fine and nominal maximum size of aggregate you have also seen in the last videos how important this uh, to find this grade of fine aggregate or sand and also to find the nominal maximum size of aggregate and how these two factor determine the proportion of your coarse aggregate and your fine aggregate or sand so next factor to design the concrete is your exposure of concrete in one videos i have mentioned already about the exposure of concrete there i, I have only given some example like coastal area like inland area or uh, groundwater or under soil this type of exposure so now in this video i will discuss about the detail of different type of exposure to which a concrete member is exposed and based on that what needs to be done okay so what is exposure exposure mean the environment to which your concrete is expected to be exposed during its working life it is very much important during its working life it is not like that you are casting a member or bridge gutter in a shop and you are designing the concrete based on the location of the shop it should not be like that you have to consider the environment where the gutter will be launched and will be used as a gutter okay maybe that location is totally different from the casting area so that's why it is important that where in which and type of environment your concrete is supposed to be exposed during its working life okay so as per indian standard or is code is 456 there are total five type of environment or exposure these exposures or environments are classified based on their actually uh, aggressiveness totally aggressiveness okay so more the aggressiveness of the uh, environment it is towards the bottom side okay that's why the first one is known as mild and last one is known as extreme mild means your mild aggressiveness or extreme aggressive weather okay so based on this aggressiveness of the weather your concrete needs to be designed so from this table you can easily read out about different environment like mild moderate severe and also you can easily identify which type of environment is in which type of category so i need not to read it again so now i would like to say why this exposure consideration is so much important for designing your concrete for example say you are trying to design a concrete mix design which will be used in a, a normal area city area okay it is quite far away from your coastal area or sea shore so obviously there is a less chance that your concrete will be attacked by the chloride now what happens if chloride attacks your concrete there is enforcement or still within the concrete now if chloride enter within the concrete it will simply corrode your reinforcement corrode means the corrosion will take place within the reinforcement and the respond uh, or the uh, your reinforcement will expand when it will expand the concrete will simply burst out and your member will fail so this is a this is why your exposure is so much important so obviously when you know that say this is your concrete surface will be expo exposed to wetting and drying or occasional freezing you have to consider your concrete like that how so suppose you your concrete is uh, subjected to freezing condition so obviously you have to design your concrete in such a way that there is uh, that much of um, volume or extra air within the concrete so that it can accommodate the increased volume of water you know when the water freezes the ice the volume of the ice is more than the water that's why during design of this type of concrete we use a certain type of admixture which induce entrained air not entrapped air i have already discussed a lot about entrapped air air and it is not good for your concrete it make your concrete totally porous i am talking about entrained air 
in the videos of advisor i will discuss what is this entrant here okay again suppose your concrete is in contact of uh, like uh, aggressive chemicals so in that case you have to choose a cement in such a manner to design or mix design the concrete that the concrete is resistant to such chemicals that's why your exposure is so much important and you have to counter it during the mix design of your concrete again for your information here in the table normally five type of environment or exposure is mentioned but there is another type of exposure which is not mentioned in the table for this type of exposure there is a totally different table in the ice code which mention which type of cement you need to use what should be the minimum content of cement and that exposure is known as exposure to sulfate adder so you can consider it as a sixth type sixth type of environment okay